Hello guys, who are you? My name is David Franco, and welcome to my first ever real office outside of my house. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a very early tour of my office, and please keep that very important word in mind. Hey, 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 whoa, what is this, a Netflix ad? Not a sponsor, seriously. Anyway, keep that word in mind early because, well, I still have a lot of work to do, but so far, I gotta say, I'm quite proud of it. But first, let me put my keys away. Now this side of the office is not technically mine. And that should be obvious if you watch my vlogs. This side of this portion of the office belongs to my mom. She likes to scrapbook, craft, and anything else that has to do with preserving memories in a creative fashion. And this side belongs to my dad. And actually, He's the reason I got this office in the first place. So shout out to Papa Puff. He saw the office space outside of the window after I did, of course. And I kind of jokingly said in a past patrons only vlog, wouldn't it be so cool if I had my own office space? Well, long story short, my parents are eventually gonna move here in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. And my dad kind of asked me, David, would you like to split expenses for an office space literally down the street? And I said, uh, is this the same office that I saw? Because if so, hell yeah. So this is his fire and security business behind me. He's not working here full time. And actually he's not gonna be working here all that much for the next three or four years. So primarily, as of this video, this is mostly my office and I could not be more proud to say that. So let's finally go on a tour of my portion of the office, my Mac Pro setup, my TV, and back there, for the first time ever, I have my own studio and that alone is huge. Let's get comfortable. It's currently 55 degrees out, but I can use some cool temperatures in here. All right, so let's get started. This is an Amazon Basics chair. I got it for about $60, $70. There's nothing fancy about it whatsoever, but I gotta say it's comfortable as hell, and I think it looks good, because after all, I do not use products that look like shit. Sorry, just saying. Because, well, for me, a product has to look good and work well, and if it doesn't do both, that I'm not interested. This is the Ikea Jerker, my favorite desk of all time. I got it for $99 probably about 10 years ago. And there's there's just no other desk out there that I love more than this one. I mean, come on, look at this. You can reach far out and you're still not touching the display. There's so much depth, so much width, and it's solid. Okay, so jumping into detail, sitting on my Ikea Jerker from left to right, we have a Dasan, two outlets, three USB powered hub, which works great and it's extremely convenient. A Google Home, which I primarily use for music, but it's also convenient for looking up some quick facts. A fake plant, which I did recently trim. Yes, I trimmed a fake plant. Moving down to the lower right, we have a pluggable seven port USB 3.0 powered hub. Right next door, we have an ASUS PP278Q Quad HD display. I actually have three of these, but currently I'm just using one on this desk because unfortunately, my LG 31MU97 decided to die on me, but I'm gonna do my best to bring that back to life. And then on the right side of that, I have my business cards, two external hard drives from Western Digital, and finally, a late 2013 Mac Pro. And of course, we cannot forget about audio. Surrounding the IKEA Jerker are two Vanity Transparent One speakers, powered speakers at that, and on the right is the amp. And yes, these speakers do indeed support an external sub, which I'm currently not using in this office space, but I do have the option of doing that in the future. Also, quick note. Ignore the cable management or lack thereof on the right side of my setup. I'm currently in the process of buying a longer USB cable. That way I can run it down the speaker and then up the IKEA jacker running into my J channel raceway cable organizer. I love it. And speaking of cable organizing, if you look below my desk, you'll find a blue lounge cable box, which is literally just a big piece of plastic. But let me tell you, it does a great job at just hiding that cable mess. And finally, in the lower right corner of my setup is a UPS, which basically just protects me, or it protects my electronics. But in regards to me, if a storm comes and I get sucked out the window, I'm pretty much screwed. But in theory, my stuff should be okay. All right, all right, so I know exactly what you're thinking, but David, there's so much white space behind your desk. 
Well, I have to completely agree, but let me just say this, it's a work in progress. Now going over here in kind of, I guess, the center of the office, as soon as you walk through the front door, you'll notice this. My Sharp TV, I believe it's 50 inch. I got it for about $300 from Best Buy, which I don't think is bad at all. It does not do 4K, it's 1080p, and actually it's a Roku powered TV. So I do have Netflix, obviously, as you can see, built into the TV, which is definitely very nice. And speaking of Netflix, if I don't wanna watch Netflix directly on the TV and on my Xbox One, then I can because I've a white one right over there with a white Xbox One controller. And well, honestly, if I do want a game throughout the day, then I can, no problem. Now, right down here are a bunch of books. Don't really read books. I just kind of have them to make me look smart. Don't think it's doing a good job for me, but I don't know, I've always had a thing for collecting books. And plus it looks nice, especially with these organizers, which are currently holding so much. And now you guys know my secrets. These are just here for show, but hey. It gets the job done, does it not? Sitting underneath my Sharp TV is the Fluent AB40 sound base, not sound bar, but sound base. So yes, in other words, these things are designed for TVs to sit on top of. And guys, let me just tell you, it looks perfect in here. It just fits the width of my TV, uh, little stands, feet or whatever down here, which is perfect. And of course, I do have to have some kind of Alexa enabled device. Right there, there she goes, she's do listening. Device diagnostics? I do, no, I do not, Alexa. Do you mean device diagnostics? No. I'm trying to make a video. All right. That's okay, that's okay. She's doing her job. Anyway, that right there is an Echo Dot, and to its right is a Canary security camera, and finally, some remote controls. And sitting right behind you just a second ago is my bathroom. Not that exciting, however, there is something worth mentioning. This building actually used to be used for apartments. So if you look right behind me, that is indeed a working shower. So if for whatever reason I ever wanted to shower here, I could, why not? Now obviously there's no shower curtain at the moment, but that will change in the future because once again, this is just an early tour with plenty of changes to come in the future. And now, to my pride and joy. But first, let me close the curtains for my grand entrance. Oh! But seriously, I love this little room. Okay, so this is nothing fancy compared to other YouTubers. Believe me, I understand that. But considering this is my first real office outside of a house, I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite proud of it. I mean guys, come on, I've never had a dedicated room to use as a studio before. So that alone is just a game changer for me and my content. Now granted, I haven't used it too much yet, but I have used this room a few times and I think the overall feedback has been pretty positive. Okay, so right behind me is a light box kit already plugged in. Boom, there's one. And boom, there's two. And now this is where having your own office slash studio really shines. So look how bright these lights are. I mean guys, look at this. This not only makes me look more professional while kind of remaining casual at the same time because I don't want to go too pro, but it just feels good. It feels good and it honestly makes me feel like I've accomplished something in life. And of course, I'm not saying that by any means to brag. I consider myself to be a pretty humble person, but to look back at my videos from 2006 and now here in 2017, I don't know. I, I just, I, I love it, I do. I love this office and I just love looking back to see how I've grown throughout the past 11 years. That's a long time as a content creator. That's a very, very long time in internet years. And guys, honestly, that just goes for life in general because life just passes you by so fast. So what is holding you back from just wanting to succeed in life? And as Nike says, just do it. That slogan is so popular for a reason because it's so simple yet so effective. If you want something in life, you need to go for it. But of course, to go for it, 
you need to just do it. You just need to put yourself out there. Create content on YouTube. Create music if you're into that. Create a podcast. Take a picture. Edit a picture. And create a website. And with that said, check out Wix right below. Completely free to sign up. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. This video is quickly turning into an ad, but the only reason I'm talking about Wix right now is because I believe in them so much. It is a solid platform that is extremely flexible. Whether you're a blogger, a photographer, musician, video content creator like myself, you need a website that you can call your own, that you have complete freedom and control over. So check it out, free to use. And of course, let me know what you think because I will be promoting your websites in future videos, I promise. You guys gotta stop doing that to me. But really, over here, it's just a closet. But is it just a closet? Okay, yes, it is just a closet. But to me, it's kind of a big deal because, well, it's finally my chance to hide things that you don't need to see on camera. Like this, for instance. This is my cable organizer. Got a bunch of USB cables, video cables, and miscellaneous cables. You gotta love it. A spare cable modem, don't ask. Right down here is a ring light, which I've used once, but it's great. Really, it is. That's enough closet talk. If you guys want, I guess I'll go into detail regarding my closet in future videos. This is a bright light, isn't it? Look at that difference. Very nice. And speaking of my light, right behind it are several acoustic foam panels. Not the most exciting thing, but in theory, they're cutting down on reverb and echo. And actually, I think they look pretty cool. However, with that said, I need more. So over time, I'll be adding some over there, over there, but I will be leaving this wall blank with the um, option or opportunity rather to add things like paintings, art, photography, or whatever I want. Right down here is my LG 31MU97. As I mentioned before, it's currently dead, but I'm gonna try my best to bring that back. And this I just bought at Target tonight. This is going to be kind of like a container to store random electronics like chargers, outlets, spare cameras, Raspberry Pi, LED cube, some kind of speaker light thingy. But that's just my point. I have so much stuff that I need somewhere to keep it all in one place. The tour is almost complete, but there is one more room. One more room you guys need to see. And I think it's exciting. Come on. Behind this door is my kitchen, which is small, but it gets the job done. Got a full size fridge, freezer, microwave, which I will be using obsessively. Plenty of cabinet space for snacks. Come on, I'm a geek, which means I eat like crap. However, sometimes I do eat, sometimes healthy. Got plenty of vegetables in here, broccoli and cheese, corn, and potatoes with vegetables. But I also have this. How stereotypical can you get? And of course, a sink. Because you gotta have water. I mean, especially for this. A Keurig, which I should have mentioned earlier. How dare I? And perhaps one of the best things about my kitchen is this, watch. It does have two entryways, which I love. Another closet. And there's another closet over there. So in total, we have three closets here. So guys, there you go. There is my tour of my office very early. Trust me, trust me. I understand that very well. Nothing fancy, especially when you look at other YouTubers. But considering what I've done throughout the past 11 years, I'm gonna say it again. I'm proud of myself, really, I am. I mean, if I can do it, then so can you. You gotta start here and end up up here. 
And don't forget, it's not all about the numbers. You do not need to have millions of subs to be a success on YouTube. You simply need to find your niche, find your audience, create your content, and be dedicated. No matter what you do, guys, come here. Trust me, listen to this. Don't give up. I am being completely serious right now. Don't give up. Giving up is easy. Succeeding, it's not. But guys, come on. The toughest things in life are worth working for. Are they not? So guys, with that said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support, I really do. I never take any of this for granted. You guys have quite honestly changed my life between YouTube and just Patreon and content in general. Content creation in general is a game changer. So, of course, if you guys have any questions or feedback or even concerns regarding my office, let me know in the comments section right below. As always, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna finally heat up my coffee. I've been dying to drink that. Which doorway should I use? I'll go this way.